Hi everyone, I got the new toy, Raspberry Pi version 3, yesterday, and I just opened it and then put it in the case. So today, I'm gonna going to uh, make our SD card for the Raspberry Pi 3, and then I'm gonna try to use a connect to the Wi Fi and Bluetooth. Let's do it! Alright, so open the browser and go to the www.raspberrypi.org and then open up uh, click on the download page there's a few packages but uh, today I'm going to install it so I just opened the release notes and that says uh, support added for the Pi 3 including uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so we can use it um, just dump the images to the SD card without to do something so now you can download it from Trent or Zip. Now download is completed. I just made a folder and added my documents and uh, the folder name is Pi and I put it on the downloaded file and extract it. The file size is uh, about 1.8 gig and expanded to the 3.8. So that's kind of big file. Okay, before you dump the image to your micro SD card, you need to make sure which devices connect to your computer. So currently I'm using Mac computer. So the first is hard drive and second and third are USB external drive. So it should be... Um, okay, I inserted the card. So uh, let's make sure again. The device is added to the disk 4 and the dev. DV and disk 4. So now I can dump the image to the micro SD card. Okay, so before you do the DD command, you got to make sure device is correct. Otherwise, you might be lose your data. This command takes about an hour, so please wait for a while. I think it's about 40 minutes to an hour. Okay, it's done. It takes it took um, about forty minutes. So now we can start to boot up the Raspberry Pi three. Before I start up the computer, I plug in the keyboard and mouse, and also HDMI cable. Okay, plug in USB cable to Raspberry Pi three. Okay, it's um, it's starting up. So it seems working fine. At first, I want to set it up for Wi-Fi. Otherwise, I can connect to the network. So let's make sure Wi-Fi is works fine without to do something. So just click on the right top the Wi-Fi button, and I just change the interface to the WLAN zero. It's which is a Wi-Fi interface, and press the upright button. And then it's gonna show up that your Wi-Fi networks. And in this case, my network name is Cole Whip. And I put it a password. Then it's automatically connected without hassle. So that's pretty easy. So I just click on the browser button and then starting up. It's pretty first uh, compared than the Raspberry Pi 2 Plus. This is the actual loading speed. I just opened uh, yahoo.com but I'm in Canada so it's transferred to the yahoo.ca. The price and the speed is actually pretty good. I was trying to use a Bluetooth however I can't find a menu so I just skip it. Overall, the price and uh, performance, Raspberry Pi version 3 is pretty good deal. Also, there is a Raspberry Pi configuration app. Basically, it's the same as uh, command line interface, but it's more easier. And that is a file system expansion, because its dumped image is 3.8 gig, so it's cannot use a free the micro SD card, so just press the button. 
and you can use change the password and you can start up the boot and command line and uh, any whatever you want you can change it also interface tab you can modify the camera ssh and uh, something something else you can modify it overclocking is not available at this menu but gpu memory assignment is you can change it by default gpu memory is 64 megabytes are assigned so total memory is one gig but 64 megabytes are already reserved for the gpu after you change some settings you need to restart the computer and restarting the computer is mm, kind of fast it's much better than five years old brand new computer so you just buy raspberry pi and you can switch it so i am making sure how many gigabytes available it's 25 gigabytes available after i dump the images okay let's keep continuing the setup process at the first i basically doing the update the os so type sudo apt get update it take for a while and a little bit skip now it's updated thank you for watching my videos and if you're interested in japanese version please click a link thank you for watching and hope to see you soon